Uh, and that's the other thing I've learned about this space is nothing is static. Whoever's on top is probably not going to be on top in 24 months, and everything changes. There's all kinds of intrigue. So the only thing you can have control over are principles and process. And so what we did is we said our goal is to change systems of the world, improve them for everyone everywhere. So let's go to the developing world to embed ourselves and get business and technical requirements, and let's just go build protocols with principles. And we call it uh, basically evidence-driven software development. So you start with peer review, and you write papers, and then you write formal specs, and then you write the code, and you have a chain of evidence all the way along that what you say you can do, you can do. It's not sexy. It's slow. You get yelled at by old guys with beards, and they, they yell at you with math, and they yell at you with like very harsh technical language. Uh, and that's not fun at all. But on the other hand, they make you better. And they make the things that you produce really rigorous to an extent that you have a high degree of confidence uh, uh, over the statements you make. So when you say something is provably secure or you know, it's an actual really, truly random number that's been generated, whatever the hell you're saying, you're saying with evidence. And then when you implement it, there's a chain of evidence that the code reflects the protocol as written. There's no semantical ambiguity. That's lacking in a lot of our ventures. Not now not anymore uh, for all ventures. Like we now have Algorand, for example, and so forth. And there you have like MIT and Silvio Macaulay and all these amazing people, and they're just as good as us. They, they write amazing papers and they have amazing engineers, but that was completely lacking during the early Ethereum days. And it was lacking during the ICO revolution. It was lacking during the smart contract revolution. And to a certain extent, most of the DeFi time. So as a consequence, a lot of these protocols are junk and a lot of them are gonna go to zero. However, the ones that survive and thrive will probably end up going to hundreds of billions of dollars and change the world. So it's a, it's a great Cambrian explosion and extinction and you know, a great Darwinian moment in the history of finance where evolution that used to be in decades and centuries is now in months and years. And an evolution that used to be done by wars and governments is now being done by private industry and free participants. Uh, and that's really exciting. It's, it's never been that way in human history.